Come on, wind. Work with me, baby. Cut it out. You know you want to cut it out. That's just fantastic. So yeah, there's the uh, turbine. I'm still working on trying to get it straightened up here. Kind of sits nicely on that aluminum hub. You can see the edge here looks pretty uniform curve. All right, not too bad. But you can see I got, see how I got that, the bolt, the nut loose on that bolt, right? On all of them pretty much, except a couple. I'm just, I'm going through it now, kind of retightening everything once again. But uh, this is the reason, again, I'm trying to straighten these out. And if I put something big enough behind it, yeah, it'll, I can pop it out, you know, but, uh, the truth is, is that's not uh, that great. <laughs> anyway, listening it all up and everything, I thought I might be able to, you know, uh, this one here is fixed in the top. It's these, these two screws, these two bolts. One of them goes in a hole to fix this piece here. And so everything's kind of based off of this one. And so I tried rotating this, this piece, you know, a little bit, you know, actually the Center bolts are finally tight now on this one. But uh, yeah, just putting my shoulder into it and pulling on this one, right? While I'm trying to push this, trying to rotate this thing to kind of pop that dude out has not been uh, very successful. <laughs> you can see that I got a rubber spacer in there now, which I'm gonna put rubber behind all these guys, like this one here, hopefully it's in focus. And that one, of course, uh, is popped in a bit too, right? This one, not so bad. I got a rubber um, washer behind that too. I'm gonna put a rubber washer behind all of them because uh, number one, this little grommet in here is not big enough or good enough. Uh, matter of fact, I think this one here, uh, the grommet fell right out. And so there is a hole in the uh, fiberglass and so instead of using a bigger flanged grommet that grabs more material, they use the really tiny ones, which is, you know, if everything's perfect, maybe that'd work okay. But uh, anyway, I went out and bought these stainless washers and, uh, and of course the rubber, these guys, wherever they're at, here they are. <laughs> Bottom line is, is uh, putting rubber behind all of them, I think is a much better way to maybe try and preserve their life. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. And uh, yeah, and I'm not sure also about this angle. See the angle of, of this piece? Now, the way these things were rolled up or the way they were manufactured, they have a natural curve of going this way, right? Kind of the same way I got them rolled on there. And that's the only way you can conveniently put them on. Because if, if, I, if I went the other way, this would be much worse. Right, because we'd be torquing it the wrong direction. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure about those angles exactly. Yeah, I think that'll be much better for longevity. And eventually it'll probably die anyhow, but yeah, with that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna try and let it go as long as possible, right? Before I'll probably buy a different material than this when I replace it. But uh, yeah, it'd be a future, maybe hopefully never. Might last 20 years for all I know. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I was pressing forward. I got the rubber washer behind this one here. I'm gonna put on the other uh, large uh, stainless washer and, uh, and get that dude going too. So I have been uh, utilizing these guys, which of course, obviously that's huge, right? Compared to what was there. Yeah, those little grommets are just too small. Definitely too small in my humble opinion and of course anyway this material is tough i tried man over and over to uh loosen everything up i mean everything i got almost all of them loose still right and uh and just and uh, yeah it's the best as i can do and this one here's got a little bit of it right same problem as the other one but i already got the rubber washer behind this one and of course the large washer here and this one this one came out perfect it's not even scooping in at all you know like this one 
Anyway, those severe bends, that's the hardest position, right? These two are the hardest position for sure uh, because you're, uh, you're really reefing on that uh, hunk of material. Anyway, hopefully it'll hold up well. Yeah, we'll press forward here. Of course, you can't reef on this too, it's too hard, right? Just a little bit. That's about it. So we have to smash it on down there good. You see that angle? Uh, it puts that wave in there. Maybe that's part of, of its design. Anyway, that looks fine. That looks like a good one there. Not so much on this guy, but whatever. So yeah. That's what we're going to do on all of them, just like that. Peace, baby. Ooh, 90 volts. <laughs> 90 volts, baby, not. 90 volts, we got 90. 90 volts. So, folks, overall, I've had this guy sitting out here for a few weeks now after doing all of the work here and putting on the big stainless washers with the rubber washer on the inside and uh it's interesting how this is maybe part of the dynamic or something i don't know you know but the angles because it's kind of got this nice curve here or maybe it's just to make it tough also because it's kind of like a potato chip a little bit right uh instead of just being straight you know so i'm sure there's a, a point to the angle <laughs> so yeah all of them got that you know to make it look kind of wavy but i think it gives it strength also this is my is my professional opinion <laughs> my unprofessional professional opinion these guys here are still you know, obviously uh bended in a little bit right especially these two yeah, these are the worst two of the bunch and then there's one up there it's a little bit but overall it's really quite good uh and these guys haven't shown any, not even a bit, even when the wind's blowing really hard out here sometimes. Uh, I had it winging where I was creating just about the voltage that it's supposed to. And uh, when it was real windy the other day, and yeah, it just makes kind of a cool sound like, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. No, it doesn't do that, it goes, ah, ooh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there it is, it's built. Working on the electronics part. That's a coming, baby. Peace, I love you, man. <laughs>